while I was working on these films, I spent a lot of time in the library uh, in between films or, you know, in between things, just reading and learning. And I went to see a hypnotherapist because I was so intrigued by this whole notion of our subconscious and how there's so much more that we can tap into, so much more potential yes. that we all have and that we're all sort of limit, uh, you know, living within what we believe to be our limits. But everybody has a much greater, more extraordinary life that's available to them. Um, mm. But 100%. it just takes, yeah, yeah, it just takes um, meeting sometimes the right people that can can help us believe in that um, or just taking action ourselves or hearing the right thing. Yeah. Um, maybe someone will hear this and sort of go, oh, I wonder what, what I'm capable of. I wonder where my barriers are, or where my next edge is. Yeah. I mean, your experience, what, why, what, are the, what are the main reasons that people actually don't fulfill their potential? Uh, well, uh, my, my first response would be lack of um, belief that it's even possible, but maybe it's also a bit of not knowing how to dream of something um, greater. You know, people are always quite apologetic. I had a, a client yesterday who I asked a question, what, you know, what do you want to get out of this? And, and she said, well, can I speak in big, hairy, audacious goals? And I went, yeah, the bigger, the hairier, the better. You know, absolutely. What are we doing this all for if, you, if you're not going to speak about big, hairy, audacious goals? And I thought even the fact that people ask permission about that um, yeah. is extraordinary. And I just think we we're constantly taught to sort of limit our um our beliefs about what's possible mm. you know, it's always being tempered throughout our whole life um to to act within the bounds and it's hard as well it's hard to have um huge ambitions and dreams and to have them crushed i mean that happened to me with my rowing you know i was so I, I rode on the the fringes of the um squad i trained with them sometimes and sometimes i beat some of them but I, they already had their, their um, Olympic team set. So I wasn't going to get into that uh, Olympiad, 92 Olympiad. So I thought, well, 96 will, will be the one. And I just didn't get that far. Mm. And um, with, my, with my back and, and what have you, maybe I never would have done, I don't know. But it was really hard to, to, you know, to, to have a dream. And I, I really love what Ursula Le Guin says, which is, it's great to have an end to journey towards but it's the journey that counts in the end.